We're here on KCWG, the truth.com, the best internet radio on the planet. And you'll hear me a couple times today. I'm going to remind you, you can call in at 951-520-1037. I pray and hope that everyone is having a fabulous day and that your new year is successful. My forte, I get asked all the time. I am an integrated marketing professional in the field of marketing, branding, and social media management. And we are here to help build your image in the marketplace. Our channel that we're on with kcwgthetruth.com gives us an opportunity to broadcast, share with others about what marketing is. Integrated marketing is pretty simple. It's just the application of consistent branding messages across the traditional medium and non-traditional marketing channels using different promotional methods to reinforce your business and your product with um, your followers and, and people that want to know about your product and service. We did learn this last week. I was on with a very, very good friend of mine, my partner with... Uh, Talk Fusion. Um, this is one of the methodologies that gives you an opportunity to brand and promote your business through um, Web RTC, which is real time communications. And so, as we're you know going on, and I have my different guests, we'll be talking about those different things. And let me further explain. Mark it you. We can market you. The it in market you means internet technology and we use portals for the information highway on the internet helping small businesses work through their digital divide to brand their product and service isn't that awesome i am very very excited to um, share that with you sometimes we get going as professionals and we think that you understand and, and again, we are the Market You Show, and we air each Thursday on KCWG, the truth.com, the internet, the best internet radio on the planet. Please call in with your questions with the number 951-520-1037. And if you have a smartphone, um, let me get that correct number for you. I'll come back with that in a minute because I think I have the old number listed here in my notes, but I'll come back and give you that number. What is our aim? Our aim is to interview and teach entrepreneurs, small businesses, startups, ministries, musicians, artists by sharing strategies to achieve success through branding and marketing and showcasing their triumphs in the marketplace. We're very interested to helping you get the word out. That's what PR is, public relations, getting that word out. Why? Our motto is success is in the air. You are a champion. Let's win. We can market you. How do you find us? Currently, our corporate website is under a rebrand, which you would normally find at marketu.com, but we're doing some new stuff, and it will be up soon. But you can reach us on social media, which would be the um, Market You on Facebook. So that would be www.facebook.com forward slash market you or Facebook the market you show you can find us and we are really expanding there's so many mediums where you'll be able to find us but if you have questions please give us a call at 951-878-5705 and if you need an inquiry or want to book yourself on the market you show which we're very interested in having you do you can reach us at Mark It Place, that's M-A-R-K-I-T, Place, P-L-A-C-E, at MarketU.com. That's Marketplace at MarketU.com. See all that branding? Market, Market, Market You. <laughs> I love it. So today's sponsor, we actually have a sponsor for today. I'm so excited. It happens to be my guest's label, and you're going to hear from my guest in a moment. Today's show is sponsored by McDujo. Gospel, music, enterprise, into all the world, Mark 16, 15. The founders and musical artists, Angie and Patricia McQueen, the word singer. We've been on, they've been on my show before, and they will be on again. But today we're going to have one of their uh, listeners, I mean one of their new artists. Now remember, if you saw the commercial on Facebook, 
you kind of know who this is and I'm going to bring him on. Our distinguished guest for today is the famous saxophonist Kenneth Bird. Let me give you a little bit of history about him. He is a saxophonist, a pianist, a vocalist. Is he is a jazz and gospel artist and he is releasing a new song called Sincerely Yours. And I think it's gonna be around, let's say mid-March or the first of March, but perhaps even as early as next week. You should be able to find him on Amazon, iTunes, CD Baby, and Spotify. Did you hear all those corporate names? You guys just got free plugs. Amazon, iTunes, CD Baby, and Spotify, just to name a few. He is an awesome, I call him a young man. I told him his birthday is this month, and I told him he's gonna be 16 again, and he just chuckled. Well, without any further ado, I want you to welcome Mr. Bird. How are you today? Just fine, just fine. Oh my God, he's trying to be shy on me. I actually met with him. We had a chance to do a pre-interview out in Rancho Cucamonga one early morning. Crisp, he called it nippy, I called it snippy. I don't know which one is right, nippy. It's, it's, <laughs> hey, it's Miami, Florida today. My, my, Miami, Florida. <laughs> I am so pleased that you've accepted the invitation uh, to come on our show. I love your saxophone, I love your music. Thank you for having me. Yes, well, share some things. Uh, we were talking about how you got started you know, in the industry, um, that you were self-taught and you were sharing with me a little bit about uh, some of your relationships you established along the way. Let's kind of talk about that again. Oh, I, uh, I had a little jazz training from a world-renowned saxophonist, Frank Morgan. He's already deceased. And also uh, had a chance to rub shows with Horace Tapscott, Marty Gibbs, ex-husband um, from Los Angeles. Uh, I met Freddie Hubbard, uh, Mr. Ed Harris, Henry Skipper Franco, just a lot of other fine, uh, wonderful musicians that uh, embraced me along the way. There's a lot of beautiful musicians uh, that has a love for music and will surrender their knowledge to other struggling musicians coming along the way. And I, I, I'm still struggling. I mean, music is a day-to-day -day growing process. So I'm, I just thank God I was able to. And I met Grover Watson Jr. personally. You met him. him. Yeah, I had a chance to meet Grover, and that was a wonderful I experience. I mean, he's like the king of he's something, He's so right? wonderful and so down to earth and just such a simple person. I told him, I said, hey, man, I, I practice all your pentatonic scales, and he started crying. Pen pentatonic scales. Tell us what that is. It's For those of us five, that are five, Well, it's just blind. a five-note scale. It's that a five-note yeah, scale. Yeah, you, you play. But it, it was just that he was so passionate about it. He said that's all he wanted to ever do was just touch piece of people with his music. Wow. And I looked at him, and I was like, man, you know, he's world-renowned, you know, he's big, big person, but he's just so lovable and just so simple. You know, he wasn't a like a big-headed person, like, you know, I've, I've been here, I've done that. He, he was just a beautiful person. Well, I've seen I, I you in action, energy. too. I think your style is smooth. I've watched you in two settings. We had the Christmas uh, musical at mm -hmm. Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just captivated uh, the congregation uh, with your playing. And I, it was like impromptu. No one knew you were going to be live on Facebook. But everyone that logged on stayed on. And the same thing happened when we had the Christmas yeah. uh, yeah. fellowship at, yeah. your, at your home. Mm -hmm. Thanks for inviting me and letting me be in, uh, be a part of that. But it was another impromptu Facebook Live. And you were on for a good hour. It was nice. And yeah, people stayed it. logged on. Yeah, so it was really like a smooth... It. Yeah, you know, like jazz, style. Yeah, 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 Christmas. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I just enjoyed being around you all. You are delivered very well. You run a smooth program, and it's nice to, you know, fellowship with other people that has a similar interest and want to see you do good. That's a positive thing for me. So that just gives me energy. It gives you energy. I just enjoy playing, and I like to, you know, just bring other people happiness. Not for me. Yeah, I just thank God for the gift and. To be able to bring other people happiness, that's what it's all about, I think, you know. That's the purpose of the music. Well, share with me how you got started. Uh, share with us, our listeners. You, you know, said you were self-taught. I, was, yeah, I'm I self -taught. don't get that let me, let me tell you how it is. The art of and the love of music is actually at my church, my grandmother's church where I went to church. Uh, I used to stand behind the pianist and watch her hands. And I 
Oh, you were watching her play? Yeah, like, play. Like, and I, and I, yeah, touch? yeah, little things, you know. Okay. And I would just say, oh, and I figured out. I said, what's pattern? She stay over there, do, do, do so long. Then she go over there, and then she go over there. And I kept watching her hand. I said, no, that's not hard. So I watched the hand. I watched where she placed her fingers and stuff. And then after the service, I would ask her, you know, little questions. And she said, oh, this is C, and I'm playing G, this you know, little thing. And I just got a book and figured out the basics and look at the notes and just ask questions. And I always ask the other piano players little questions. They showed me little things. People were nice. You know, when people see you trying to learn, they'll give you a helping hand. Right, right. So right. I took all the little knowledge that I scrapped up here and there and sponged up, you know. Okay. And I put it together and I figured things out. And that's the so way it is. And it's always commitment. Yes, that's commitment. You yes. To Dedication. Yeah. You, you what you do is you it, music is a growing experience. It's never over. Right. You, right, you, right. you know, you have to practice, you know, forever and you you always it's like a, a giant puzzle. You put pieces together. Some things fit, some don't. Well, it's kind of changed though. I mean, we were talking about that uh, at, you know, at, when we did the interview, we were, we were saying that the style of music today mm -hmm. with, with the baby boomers and the traditional, as we love that certain sound, but today's music is, is, is very, very yeah, the different. Young, the younger guys, they don't understand somewhat what the foundation of music is, so they sample the foundation of what Marvin Gaye or John Coltrane or Stanley Turrentine or Charlie Parker or Gladys Knight or Rita Franklin or the Harold Mellon and the Blue Notes or the oh, Whispers. Oh, Yeah, you know, I mean, just some of those Harry people Harry that worked Blue hard. Notes. You figure Kenny Gamalee on her label, uh, Solar Records, uh, Dick Griffey, uh, just a lot of other wonderful artists, Atlantic Records, uh, just on and on Atlantic Capitol Records. Records. They're not yeah. even around anymore, yeah. right? Yeah, Capitol Records, I don't think so. You know, right. it's just all those wonderful uh, recording artists and that contributed so much to the music. Now the young cats, they go back and they listen to music. They sample certain things that they know will get your attention and you use that. Like Bruno Mars, he used a he lot of Prince and Time yes, and you know, does. all those people, you know, which is yes, wonderful. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, and then we, we take those beats and things that captivated us back in those days and relive it and it, it makes the music fresh and all over. They add the new, little new electronic things to it today and it makes it wonderful, you know. But and me, I just, a little bit of the old, old and new, yeah, you tie everything together. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, you go down and, and stand in front of the pool pit and ask for forgiveness all over again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, I, think, I think of jazz as, I know this sounds really strange, but I think of jazz as a small little uh, petite, you know, a bar where they have the black piano. and That's where I'm trying smoke, to get. Smoke it's it's ironic room. you would say that. That's you know, where I want to be. I want to be in a, in a bar area playing so when people are having their drinks and socializing or discussing their business meetings and stuff, right. I can play some smooth jazz and that, you know? That makes the yeah. outing or That's the event memorable. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah of yeah. course. See, they say, well, I flew into Ontario X and, you know, it's a saxophone player. He was playing nice music in the background and, you know, we got a business meeting. I sealed the deal and all that. that that's one of the That's what me. I'm talking about. That, yeah. And when you go to New York, uh, one of my experiences, I just love New York. You could be on the subway. You could be walking down uh, Times Square. Um, you could, you know, or, or, or by the Apollo, you know, the little sitting area there. And, and the musicians, they are just incredible. Out there playing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You just want to stand right there all day. And, you know, that's a wonderful thing. And this is a good thing you said that I'm going to go to New York in the summer. Okay. So I want to stop at Birdland and. Birdland. Yeah, Tell me about Birdland. What's yeah, that that's, that's, oh a, that's a wonderful place that all the jazz musicians go. I mean, everybody's been there. You are you know? comparing I mean, notes? Is that what you guys are doing? No, not really comparing notes. It's just a wonderful place to go. Like you go to Paris, France, you know. You, right. You know, you want to stop and get you a few shoes. And a few suits, shoes. Suits made. That's you know, right. and then you say, yeah, I want these. Yeah, 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 they were yeah. handmade. handmade. You know, yeah. Tailored just for me with my name. You know, all that <laughs> Yeah, you know, wonderful stuff. Right? I, you know, I love it. Hey, those those days are you know they're approaching, but you know, for right now, you know, it's just it's just a simple, beautiful life. I'm just glad you could have me on today, and hopefully, something positive will come from this for everyone, and some can get some joy and love and peace of mind. You know. Well, I remember we were talking about uh, Lionel Richie, and you were sharing with me that I'm mean, talking about Kenny G too. But I'm gonna go back to Lionel Richie. You were saying that the way that they seeing or a way a, 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 a musician or artist would play is, is, is what's going on inside of them. Can you mm -hmm. can you take yeah, me like, back there? Yeah, like you yes, I have, I I've always admired Lionel Richie, you know, from the work that he's he's done, wonderful work, from Endless Love to Say You, Say Me, and all those wonderful things, and Lady, for, he wrote for Kenny Rogers, and just a, you know, some wonderful Grammy award-winning things. 
it's just I think his upbringing and the way he interpret music with life. Well, how did you? Can you demonstrate for me how you did that? You know how it's, it's what's going on inside of him, and then you give him an example. Love. Yeah, yeah, when you were love. just you kind of broke that down and yeah, endless love, love is music. like you know it's it's like when you when you play your. for the music that, that, and what he's sharing with the world is, you know, my endless love, da 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 and then Diana comes in and she sings her part, and they have a diff close associated feelings, but different, they can interpret the love and the, and the serenity and tranquility in the music. So if an artist or a musician is having you know, like they said, Picasso had a blue period, or or if he's you know just got married, or he got just got divorced, mm -hmm. or you know, so some of that is coming out. Yes, yeah, some of that, those things are painted. Yeah, some of those things are painted. You know, uh, I heard a lady on the radio. She called in. Gerald Albright had a it was on a talk show, and she told Gerald Albright that listen to his music every morning helped soothe, got her through her divorce. Wow. And Gerald said, "Oh, wow! I didn't, you know, know that, you know." But she just liked his music, and the way he played, and just certain things, and that helped her with emotion, dealing with the stress and strain of, you know, being divorced. So music has a, you know, a universal touch point, the emotional point where it reaches some people. That's why all people don't love all music. Okay. You know, I, some people embrace certain types of music. Like country like and yeah, mm -hmm. certain yeah, style, church R and B, or you like classical. classical. You know, people don't know that Joe Grover Washington Jr. was classically trained. Yeah. That's why his horns sound different from other horn players. Okay. You know, he makes a statement differently. You know, he's not like like uh, Bob players. Or, you know, he's just different. He did things different. And and like we were talking about Kenny G, he has this very I don't care where you're standing. He's a wonderful you know player. It's his music. He's, a, he's a wonderful player. He's a beautiful person. I don't take anything away from him. Every horn player has to find identity. I used to want to emulate other musicians, and then I learned that it's not about them. It's about me. What I have to find my own identity because I can't sound like Kenny G okay. because I'm not him. You sound like Kenneth. Kenneth. Right? I just have to express myself. And once I work hard at that, I learn how to express myself better. That's all. Okay. But I appreciate Kenny G contributing whatever he has to contribute to the universe. And he does a wonderful job at it. Like Grover Washington Jr. He doesn't sound like Kenny G. Mm -hmm. He has an identity. Cannonball Alley has an identity. Stanley Turrentine. You can tell anybody that plays a saxophone, if you walked in and heard me playing, you would know it's me from you hearing me playing. Actually, that's kind of true. Yeah. I, I it's, it's like maybe four events. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I love music, but it's just, I know that you have this certain style. Um, what inspired you, though? Which artist uh, inspired you to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Which artist said, you know, I want to, I know we say you don't, you're not like anyone, but there's usually someone that inspires you just to really get You going. know, uh, let me tell you, when I, when I looked at Grover Washington Jr., I just looked at his stats. I mean, he, how he first really got started, he was with Charles Urban, and Hank Crawford was in Paris, France, I think, doing a gig in Europe somewhere. He couldn't make a recording. So the guy knew about Grover Washington Jr. They said, he's bad, he's a young cat, he can really play. Call him in. He recorded for Hank Crawford. And from that point, his career took off. But I've always admired the way he dressed. Oh, his, his clothes. His, his, okay. his, 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 his demeanor, his, mm -hmm. the, way he, he, the way he carried himself, uh, the way he played, it was just different. Mm -hmm. he, he took music, like all the new songs that would come out, he would take those songs and play them on the saxophone. Well, nobody was doing that. Wow. The new hits that would come out. Right. And that's what I basically do. I, just, I play hits. I'll play, you know, Endless Love, or I'll play uh, Look of Love, or I'll play, mm -hmm. you know. You know I love, I love and you you recognize like those that. songs, you know. And then, you know, I like to play uh, 
I don't like, sing, uh, y'all. I just yeah, oh yeah, you can, yeah, you can sing. You can hold a note. <laughs> Look, just, just don't move your hand and drop it. Okay, no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> it's all good. No, it, hey, you know what? Singing is is, is is identifiable with each person. Right. No right. one, no one can sing better than the next person. No one can sing less. You just sing what's inside of it. Now, whether or not that being the key and stuff, okay, I mean, that's, that's hey, good, you're, not, you're not expecting you to be like Aretha Franklin or, no, or, no, or Patti no, LaBelle no, or no one. No, you know what no. I mean? They was born with it. But if you can get your note out and right. it, it sounds good and make okay. you feel good, you can tap your feet. That's good enough for me. You, you know? want to get through yeah. washing dishes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's you know, right. That's right. right. I mean, Singing yeah. in the shower. In the car. It. Yeah, oh, driving. Oh, yeah. Music is wonderful. Yeah. You know, the kids, they sing, they don't be in tune. Right. They just be singing a song like Corey probably done sung a couple of songs when you all on the way to the market, you know, and you like, can you please be quiet my yes, parents? She's like, that. no, mom, I'm just singing a song. It's, it's a good thing, though. I love it. And I that's what it. music does. You but know some that? people are, you know, it's like when you watch the uh, vocalist uh, competitions on television, you know, you, I'm sure they push some through that are just marginal. But if there's others, they don't even need a mic. I mean, they come out and it's like the voice. Maybe one person might turn around for one artist, but then there's this one artist that comes out, all four chairs turn around, they're arguing, trying to get yes, that I person. I like you to say that. I saw a snip where this guy came out, he saw, he made them cry. He made Simon Cowell cry. He what? really cried. That's how good he was. Man, it, because it, it touched his soul. It, it, he touched his soul. And I, I was like, whoa. Man, he's making the people cry. So that is the definition of what the music, how powerful it is. You know, right. I mean, it can it can do for you. It really can do a lot for you. Right. It, it soothes the savage beast. Yeah, it's, yeah, it does. It, it really, it calms it really your does. Heart and your soul. And I can play sometime, and it literally makes me want to cry. I mean, I'm playing the song. I'm like, oh my god, this is just too beautiful. Well, before the break, because we're gonna have a break coming up here in a minute. Let's play a little bit of the the music we have picked out, um, just a little bit, because mm -hmm. I know when we do the break, we're going to play your new song, and then we'll come back and talk about that. I want to do that right now. Okay. So if we can let the studio know, you just play a little piece play a little bit. Uh -huh, before see. we go on break of the song that you picked okay. out. Let's yeah, see right. if everyone can pick that up. Uh, All right, guys, you can make it less. So yes, get yes. your clinics out. <laughs>
so impressed. That's awesome. That's awesome. I got lost. It's like, okay, okay, we're gonna do the rest of the show. We're gonna do a musical. I love it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love that. So I, I, I heard you, but I'm sitting here live in the studio, but I also watched you. It's like you left. Where did you go? I just transcend and I try to perfect the things that you're hearing, what I'm giving you. Okay. A gift from me to you, you know, to the audience, wow. so that they'll feel good and they uh, have memories of the moments and time they spent, whatever they're doing, if it's with a loved one or out or for a night on the town or just, you know, just enjoying life. And it sounded like a gift. I, I know there's a difference when someone's being mechanical and then there's someone that's actually enjoying it and they're feeling it and, and your, your gift is coming through in your music. That's what I hear. I feel that connection you have with the horn. It's like you and the horn become one. It's one, it's, it's, it's awesome and ironic that you would say that because that is what music is, really is deep down inside. It's, it's, it's a marriage made in heaven. I mean, between the person that plays and the delivery to the pastor or to you mm -hmm. or to whoever's listening and they hear the music and they receive certain things from the music. So That's then, the gift that they receive when they hear it and they love it and they say, oh, like when I first heard a piano and a saxophone when I was little, I just literally went crazy. I was like, oh, wow. listen, at that sound, oh, that's so pretty, you know, that's just right. wonderful. And that's what we get and that's how God blesses us, you know, with the blessings of music period you so know. then you would agree that yours is an anointed place where god I, has I showered you i with certainly his hope so Kathy, i certainly yes. hope so <laughs> I, I i would accept nothing less nothing than that less. yes okay. i consider myself having an anointed home and i really do and i thank god for that gift you know and, and, and however he gave it to me and whenever he gave it to me whether when i was little or somewhere at some point i was practicing and whenever it came i thanks for that it was just wonderful well, I just want to remind our listening audience and those that are live on Facebook, if you've joined us on today, you are listening to the Market Youth Show. Uh, we're on kcwgthetruth.com, the best internet radio on the planet. If you want to call in, our call-in number is 951-520-1037. If you have um, an iPhone, uh, you can also listen uh, live. The number is 563 nine 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 ninety two zero four if you have an android it's seven twelve seven seven zero seven zero four zero we're going to take a little break and on this break you will hear um kenneth bird the saxophonist new release and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it so we'll be gone for just two and two we'll be right back it is sincerely yours uh sincerely yours on the Magdujo Gospel Music label. Clyde Gatewood said he appreciates you for teaching him how to write a big rig. That's her son-in-law. We can talk. Yeah, but we're live on Facebook. Hmm? We're live on Facebook. I am. Hey, Facebook. How are you? We're listening to a song. We're on a break, and we'll be right they back. They can hear it. They can. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get confused all of our technology. We have a caller on the line. We have a caller. Okay. All right. We're good. Yeah, you can turn it down. Well, it looks like uh, Sincerely Yours uh, inspired a caller, and we kind of have been waiting for the call. One of the uh, founder visionaries of McDujo Gospel Enterprise. I believe we have one of the co-owners, uh, Angie. Angie, are you there? Hello? Angie, are you there? Hi, how are you? Good morning. Good. 
Yes, we are live and everyone can hear us talking. But thank you so much. You are uh, our sponsor today. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show, McDujo Gospel Music Enterprise, Into All the World, Mark, Mark 16, 15. Thank you so much. And we also have been interviewing uh, your newest artist, Kenneth Bird. I bet you know him. I bet you know him. I said, I think you know him, Kenneth Bird. I said, I think you do know him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So it's McDujo Enterprise. Enterprise. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got that. Well, share it with us. Everyone can hear. Go ahead, share it with us. Yes, I did. Now, the, the information and access and booking will be through the McDujo page. Will uh, Kenneth Bird also have his own uh, personality page, or will we just be going through McDujo? Okay. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Well, he's been blessing us this morning. He has shared, you know, his past, present, and future. <laughs> And um, so now he, he'll have his his release. Will he actually? Are you planning a actual release party? Oh, please share! Please share! Where can we get our tickets? Yeah, Eventbrite, okay. Mm -hmm. The word singer. <laughs> yes, it was. I was there. It was fabulous. Well, let me ask you, Angie, I know you're calling in, so that means that you're busy out there running around. What would a new artist 
wanting to become a part of McDougal Enterprise, how can they get involved? How can they uh, get booked with you or signed with you as uh, Kenneth Bird has? What, can, what should they do? Is it any genre? Any genre can be a part of uh, Redujo Enterprise? Okay. All right. What about someone who um, has writing skills to write music? Um, is it just vocalists and, and musicians? But what about writers? Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Do you have a question for um, your new artist, Kenneth Bird, perhaps maybe he may want to ask a question or maybe you want to give him some encouragement. I'm just fine. Uh, just having a great day. I don't really have any questions. Just wanted to say thank you for letting me sign with Magdusia Records and I'm looking forward to working with you guys. I, I've seen some of your work and you guys do excellent work and it's nice to I've gotten to know you guys, and like I say, thank you for giving me a chance to be an artist on your record label and do some positive things. Thank you. Yes. Right, God's timing. Well, I have a question for you. Is that what inspired you to uh, work with Mr. Bird? Is because of those attributes you just described? If someone was less, I don't want to say less, different than this type of personality, would you still coach them? Yes, it is. Well, and, and you're being shy because I happen to know you as an artist. That's how we met. And I know we've already mentioned Patricia McQueen, the word singer. 
um, and we will play a little bit of your song here as you're uh, going out before we close off the interview. Um, I want to congratulate you uh, for being successful. You have three songs that I know of. Um, Be Yourself, uh, Will the Real Christian Stand Up? What's the other one? No God. Oh, No God. No God. No God. We're going to we're going to end about one second here. We're going to play No God. So we have only a few minutes left here on the show. So I want to thank you for having your artists on. I want to thank um, McDujo Enterprise for being the sponsor for the show today. And if you could say your contact number one more time, and after that we'll play the other song, and then we'll get back to the interview. Don't be dumb. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you soon. You too. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. To know him, Angie Bird, on the Magdujo Enterprise label. I love that music, that, that background. That is so awesome. I love that. I love it. T Sounds Record, Bong Titus, yeah. Excellent musician. Oh, awesome. What's his name again? Juan Titus. T Sounds Record. Oh, I met him, right? Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yes. We have a caller? Okay. All right. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Are you there? Hello, caller. Are you there? Hi. Who am I speaking with? Identify yourself. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. How are you? It's been a long time. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Marky You Show, and God bless you. You have a question for our artist? Okay, well, it's going to be released March 8th, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead, speak. Yeah, it's uh, going to be Sincerely Yours being reached, but to really, I'm still working on the full CD. It's just a single, but that CD will have a variety of different music on it that you can enjoy, and we'll, be, we'll have it out. It'll be on CD Baby, uh, SoundCloud, uh, Facebook, uh, all the other extras you'll be able to tap into. The title is, is entitled Sincerely Yours. Yes, ma'am. That's it, Sincerely Yours, yes. Yes, and that is going to be on Amazon, iTunes, CD Baby, and Spotify. And they are scheduled to release March 8, 2018.
can, if you know Kathy personally, you can talk to Kathy. Kathy can get your CD to you. She knows you and whatnot. We uh, have some runoff CDs that I have already done, but you can go through Kathy. If you can come to the event, that would be nice. I'll be selling some of my CDs there at the event that we're having April the... Uh, April the, is it 21st? That's April the 21st. 21st, yes, yes ma'am. April the 21st. No, actually, no, no. <laughs> actually, if you inbox me on Facebook or yeah, inbox me on Facebook and you and I can hook up and after you can get her CD. Um, we can, can get, get her CD today. CD. Yeah, if you want it today, we'll get it to you today. Yeah. Yes, just hit this. That's what we were saying. <laughs> Well thank, well, thank you. You have wonderful ears. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. you. Know, <laughs> and, you know, we were talking about that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank well, you thank so you much. Jesse, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Have if a you inbox day. me, I will get that to you. We're at the top of the hour, so thank you for calling in. And it would be good to meet just to get a hug. I haven't seen you in a while, so let's hook up. All right. Yes, okay, ma'am. You, we'll sure you definitely can get that. Not All a problem. right. We'll talk soon. Be blessed. God bless. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Wow. We actually did the 56 minutes, which we call an hour. Oh, my goodness. That's <laughs> We're wonderful. We're at the bottom of the hour. What is your wisdom piece that you want to close out with? And I bet it's your music. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Sincerely yours is wonderful. Sincerely yours. So, this is Dr. Kathy Lewis Sanders. We're on the Market Youth Show. We air each week at 10 a.m. on kcwgthetruth.com. I will look forward to meeting everyone again on next week, and we're going to close out with... Sincerely yours. And we want to say heads up to Pastor, because he's done an excellent job. He's Pastor smiling. Frank. Pastor Frank done a wonderful job. Yes. That's, yeah. <laughs> he is. He's and Pastor awesome. Frank, I want you to be at the event in shining colors. I don't want to hear no excuses about you couldn't make it either. <laughs> he said All right, yes. we're gonna close out with the song. Thank you so much, Mr. Bird, for then, blessing us. Thank you for having me, Kathy. Show. And I'm looking you for you to be at the show. Sure, I will. Okay. If you'll have, if you'll have me back, sure. Okay. Yes, yes, Absolutely. I definitely will. Thank All you. All right, everyone. Until next week, we'll talk to you soon. Is like chilling, and that one can hear everything.